Welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom. I am your favorite professor, Paul Markle. And the shirt that I'm wearing today is old school hardcore. And I'm wearing it in honor of my friend, Super Dave Harrington. So Super Dave, if you're watching this, this one goes out to you, brother. All right. Topic of today, we're going to talk about home defense or personal defense at home and some advice that's been given recently by our wonderful Vice President of the United States. Uh, if you've been paying attention to the media, and I'm sorry, but if you have, then you may have heard that the Vice President of the United States has gone on television and said that you don't need big, mean, nasty black rifles. All you need is a double barrel shotgun. And that old Joe tells his wife, if there's any trouble, go out onto the patio with your shotgun, point the gun in the air, and fire two shots. Okay, which leaves you with an empty gun in your hand. Well, let's examine that real quickly. Number one, professional firearms instructors have for decades upon decades been teaching people, whether they're law enforcement or civilian, that we don't fire warning shots. Okay, there is, if you're a, a captain of a battleship or a destroyer, you're allowed to fire warning shots. If you're just a dude or a dudette at home, you're not allowed to fire warning shots. Well, well, well why is that, Paul? I, you know, uh, street corner advice, uh, the guy at the gun shop said, yeah, just point the gun in the air and shoot it. Okay, it's a firearm. Something is coming out of the muzzle. A projectile or multiple projectiles in the case of a shotgun. Where are those projectiles going? Well, they're going up in the air. Where are they gonna land? I don't know, okay, and, and also a lot of people for, <laughs> neglect or forget that aiming a gun like this is angling it. This is straight up in the air. Now, if you fire a shotgun straight directly up in the air, what's going to happen is the pellets will go up, they'll reach terminal velocity, and they'll fall to the ground, guide aided only by gravity. If you just angle a gun and fire a shot over someone's head, that bullet or that projectile still has a lot of juice behind it and it's cruising through the stratosphere looking for something to impact that it shouldn't. It, we do not fire warning shots. You do not have the legal, if you have the legal justification to fire a gun at a human being, I'm talking about you're legally justified in doing that, you're legally justified if you strike them with your projectiles. Okay, going to court and saying, oh, I just shot around him just to miss, isn't going to keep you out of trouble if you were not justified in the first place. You can't go to court uh, when you're charged with aggravated menacing or aggravated assault and say, oh, I just meant to shoot around him because the opposing attorney is going to say, no, you meant to shoot him, you're just a bad shot. So you're either justified in shooting at a human or you're not justified at shooting at a human. We are not allowed to just launch bullets indiscriminately into the stratosphere as warning shots. Now let's talk about some real life situations that occurred in the last month. We had a situation in Atlanta, Georgia, and we had another one outside of Houston, Texas, where two mothers we're at home. Now, Uncle Joe says that he told his wife, Jill, if there's any trouble, just walk out on the porch and shoot a shotgun up in the air and everyone will run away. Well, uh, in both situations, we had young mothers who had children, either one or two little children, and uh, bad guys were breaking into their house. Okay? In one situation, the woman retreated into her bedroom. The bad guy smashed in her door and proceeded to ransack through her house. So the ability to go out onto the patio and shoot the gun up into the air didn't materialize there. During the second situation outside of Houston, Texas, a young mother was at home with her young child one night, one evening, and here's a smash, here's wind glass breaking. Next thing she knows, she's face to face with three home invaders. Three guys with ski masks on who have come into her house and she's in mortal fear of danger. She was able to retrieve a pistol, uh, fortunately, and start shooting the intruders and after she started shooting them, they left. But uh, first of all, Uncle Joe, uh, if he had a two round shotgun and there was three bad guys, she's minus one round, okay? And she didn't have the opportunity to go out onto the patio and shoot rounds indiscriminately into the air. That is horrible, horrible, dangerous advice. It's reckless, it's negligent, and quite frankly, it's a bunch of Hollywood bullcrap that 
if you're not the Vice President of the United States, I wouldn't go walking out onto my porch and launching rounds off into the stratosphere because you're probably going to be held responsible for those. If you are in mortal fear, of, if you're in jeopardy of being harmed, and I'm not talking about somebody stealing your pumpkins out of your pumpkin patch, I'm talking about a human being who either wants to do you serious bodily harm, rape you, make you dead, you are justified in shooting them with that gun. If you choose to use a double-barreled shotgun, drive on, but keep in mind that the muzzle needs to be down here, not up in the air. All right, what is our recommended reading today? Well, if you are a woman watching this, thank you for watching, and if you're a man, you probably know a woman who has questions about personal defense, self-defense, and so on. Well, the recommended reading today is called The Cornered Cat. It's by Kathy Jackson, and it's a woman's guide to concealed carry. You can go online, you can order these. We'll put the little link up for you guys. But uh, even, even if you're not a woman, if you're watching this, you probably know a woman who's got a lot of questions. And dudes, if your wife or girlfriend is asking you questions about guns, that's nice that you can answer them, but the truth of the matter is she doesn't see you as a firearms expert. She sees you as the knucklehead who leaves the toilet seat up or forgot to take out the trash. So Kathy Jackson is a woman. She wrote the book. You can give it to your woman, the woman in your life, or if you're a woman, you can pick one up too and check it out. So that's The Cornered Cat, uh, Fight Like a Woman from Kathy Jackson. Until next time, check us out at studentofthegun.com.